So we just got inside the Bobcat and it has a safety bar on it. So you want to put the safety bar down. Got your ignition over here. And basically before the machine starts up, if you've ever wondered how an auger works, uh, it has a hydraulic unit that turns this digger. This control over here on this Bobcat, I think it's a T590 or 595, it goes forward, backward, uh, turn to the right, turn to the left, and the diagonal is kind of like a circular turning motion, all in one hand. All these buttons do different things for different hydraulics. This one over here um, raises the mast or the big boom. Um, you pull it back and it goes up, and you push it forward and it goes down. And if you tilt it out this way, it'll either tilt the bucket um, out or in, or the auger in or out. And this is the button that controls the auger forward and reverse. It also has a trigger on it that you can press, which will let the auger turn by itself. You have all your controls up here for your on and your off, um, and all your gauges up over in this direction. So if you want to start the machine up, go ahead and do that, and it'll tell you to wait. And then you come over here and just start it like a car. That's the throttle control right here, which raises it up and down. Or you have a pedal down here, like a gas pedal. Got a diesel fuel gauge, temperature. And this is the auxiliary. You press that to make sure the auger spins. And then that will give you a green light. You have your parking brake on or off. And then you have any traction override. Uh, you have to press this button. And when all those go clear up there and there's no red lights, you can use the machine now. So, just really quickly, this is the machine moving forward and backward with this control. And that's the turning function. You can see it pivoting. And then with this control, you have your up and your down. And you can tilt the auger forward or let it down like that. And then there's your button for controlling it to spin the auger forward or backward. And then if you see me press the trigger while this is engaged, it will let it spin automatically. And you can press the trigger to turn it on and off again. And that's basically how you operate this uh, Bobcat unit. And you get up to your hull. Raise it up or down. And you drive up over here. Get it to where you want it. Drop the auger down in there with this control. And then once you get it in there, you can uh, spin it. And just press down accordingly. You'll feel the weight of the uh, machine pressing down. You can pull up out of there and see if you have any dirt on the auger to clean it off. You can always shake it back and forth. You usually move forward, so dumps the hole, dumps the dirt off out of the whole area. Just go wiggling back and forth. And that's about it. And otherwise, like I said, you can turn the throttle up. And it'll do it automatically for you. Otherwise, that's how to control the Bobcat. If you've ever wondered how these controls work, um, that's how they work. You basically get one of these with those instructions and pretty much drive the thing pretty safely besides tipping it over and everything like that. You're gonna have to use common sense not to go down the hill like sideways or anything like that.